Ah oh, man, these are not it. I don't understand these mids. Jordan Brand, Nike, you gotta stop doing this. This is not a good look. Please stop this madness. These are disgusting. The qual- oh my- quality- oh my- Nike, stop doing this to the Jordan 1 mids. This is trash. This is not it. I hate these. The Air Jordan 1 lost and found. You guys still have a chance to get yourself a pair for completely free. All you guys need to do to enter this free giveaway is smash that like button, hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, join the more family, leave a comment down below, let me know your size in the Air Jordan 1 lost and found. Follow me on Instagram, DannyMoore2369. Follow Sneaker Ease on Instagram. His link and my link are down below in the description box. Be sure you follow us both on Instagram and then DM me proof, DannyMoore2369. Send me proof that you guys did everything. Good luck on this free giveaway for a pair of lost and founds. I'll be picking the winner next week, so make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in for a free pair of lost and founds. These are very, very hyped. A very beautiful pair of Jordan 1s, and I definitely need to give back to the Moore family, so please make sure you guys enter in this free sneaker giveaway. I do a giveaway every month here on the channel, so make sure you guys enter in these free sneaker giveaways. Smash that subscribe button. Join the Moore family. Now, I need to tell you guys about the best sneaker bags in the game, Soul Premise. Soul Premise has the best bags, guys. They hold your sneakers when you're traveling, safe, secure. This bag holds five to six pairs. You also have room on the bottom of the bag as well for more sneakers. You also have room for your clothes, your laptop, chargers, everything you need. Soul Premise has you covered. Make sure you guys click my link down below in the description box. Check out Soul Premise's website and use my code Danny Moore. My name, Danny Moore, will give you 40% off your entire order from the best bags in the game. Check out Soul Premise. I highly recommend them. I use them all the time when I'm traveling. Guys, they hold your sneakers. They're perfect for sneakerheads. Check them out. Thank you, Soul Premise, for sponsoring this video. The Air Jordan 1 Mid. They get a lot of hate. And in my opinion, I kind of agree with it. I don't like mids at all. That's just my opinion. I've owned, I would say, two or three pairs of Jordan 1 mids ever. And one of them was the Clot, a collaboration, which had really nice materials and really nice quality to it, a nice theme to it. But other than that one, I just have never been a fan of mids. And this Jordan 1 mid, no exception. I don't like them. I think these are trash. I think Jordan brand needs to stop doing this to the Jordan 1 mid because it's either a hit or a miss and I would say 95% of the time it's a miss. It's bad. There's multiple things wrong with in my opinion with the Air Jordan 1 mid and why I think a lot of people don't like mids as well. Let's get into this unboxing. These are trash. These are simply not it. I'm not a fan of mids and in this colorway Certainly not. They need to stop doing this. This is a no-no. This needs to be stopped. Enough of this. Please, Nike. Please, Jordan Brand. Stop doing this to the Jordan 1 mid. I love my Jordan 1s. I really do. I love my highs. I love the lows. The mids, I just cannot get behind it. I can't. Retail is a little cheaper, which is nice, but... I just can't get behind the mids, and there's reasons why. Let's take a look at this colorway. Ah, uh, yeah, no. These are just not it, man. These are just not it. Jordan Brand, stop doing this to the Jordan 1 mid. Please. Please. With a red tongue? Oh, my. These need to be stopped. They need to stop doing this to the Air Jordan 1 mid. It's a no-no. Stop. Stop this. This is the Air Jordan 1 mid. Black, fire, red, and white is basically the colorway on StockX and on the box. So, black, red, fire, black, fire, red, and white. Yeah, we definitely have those colors, but this mashup is just simply not it. The tongue, red, Jumpman on the tongue with the air. These are just not it. This neoprene tongue. Oh, man. The leather. Don't even get me started with the quality. We'll definitely get into that a little bit comparison. This is just not it. This colorway is not it. They need to stop. 
They're taking the black, red, and white, the Chicago Bulls colorway, Michael Jordan's colors, and they're tossing it so many times on the Jordan 1 mid, it's absolutely insane if you really think about it and look at it. There's so many colors, so many ways, I should say, that they're tossing up these three colors on the Jordan 1 mid. They need to stop it. Please stop it. Please, if you want to give us the black, red, and white Jordan 1, give us the bread, give us the Chicago, give us something we actually want and ask for. No one is really asking for this. Let's be honest. Nobody's asking for this. You got the Wings logo in red, and if you guys notice, the height difference is definitely noticeable, and the Wings logo, definitely noticeable compared to a normal Jordan 1. Then you do have the tongue i can't get over this red tongue i can't get over the red tongue along with the uh jump man and the air now uh, red is my favorite color but on this this looks bad i don't think this even looks good i just don't i just don't mess with it i don't think it looks good black laces black laces only with mids you're not going to get any extra laces which i do understand i am okay with that but the shape look at the shape just no 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 there's so many things i just don't like about the mids the quality being at the top of the list to be honest this quality is so bad this leather is so plastic like feeling it's so bad if you guys have never felt a pair of mids go to the store try a pair of mids if you want to see the quality you'll see how bad it is this feels like white all white air force one leather to be honest it's bad now, I know the all-white Air Force Ones, everyone still buys them, rocks them, it's a good shoe. But when you look at the actual quality of it, it's trash. Same thing with Panda Dunks. Well, this is on that tier. It's trash. This leather is so awful. So awful. They need to stop putting this trash leather on the mids. It is still a Jordan. You know, this is still a Jordan, re uh, not a retro, but it's still a Jordan, right? So why are they giving us bad quality like this and still charging well over a hundred dollar retail i have no idea jordan brand you gotta stop giving us this trash there's like no parts of the sneaker that even feel like decent it all feels like plastic it all feels like plastic around the entire shoe not good not good now i'm tired like i said of this colorway being thrown around so much on the jordan one mid it's absolutely insane. The only one I'm okay with, I guess, would be maybe the bread, the breads or the Chicago colorway with the heel being different. Those are okay, but I just can't get behind the quality of them. Quality is so bad on most mids. It's really bad. Guys, you need to try them if you haven't. Try them. See how you like the mids, but... Don't expect good quality at all. Now, let's take a look at some other Jordan 1s. This right here is, I would say, your standard Jordan 1 quality, right? The leather is nothing spectacular, but it is soft nonetheless here on, on the high, right? On the back, got a little bit of tumbleness there. I would say this is your standard Jordan 1 quality, whether the suede, whether it's the leather on the back or anything like that. I think it's the standard Jordan 1. Now... First of all, look at that shape difference. That alone is insane to me. The height difference is insane. I understand it is a mid. It's not supposed to be as high, as high, but that height difference is just very, very noticeable along with the shape. Look at the shape of these shoes. Look at the mid, look at the high, just the shape of the back just looks bad in my opinion on the mid. The leather, I just don't like how low it is. I wish it was higher cut at least like it is on the high OG. Now this, like I said, is your tr tr traditional standard Jordan 1 leather, if you ask me. Now, this is something that's a little bit better, I would say, right? We have more tumbled. This is definitely a nicer leather here on the University Blue. You got tumbled leather. You got some nice new bucks. So I think this is more of a premium shoe compared to a normal Jordan 1, and it's nowhere near the quality of a mid. The mid is so trash, straight up garbage compared to something like this now when you take a look at maybe an older release right how was the older releases well here is we got a 2017 royal with really nice leather on it right they put really nice 
leather on the Royals, very soft, feels very nice, and once again, blows the mids out of the water when it comes to the quality. The mids are trash. I just cannot get over the fact of the materials of what they're using on the mids, charging these retail prices of like what, 120, 130, 140 on mids? It's like 120, 130, something like that on mids. What, 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 what? Just no, just no. This needs to be stopped. I just cannot stress how bad the quality, it's the quality over anything for me guys when it comes to the mids. Now I'm not a, a fan of the shape, I'm not a fan of the silhouette, how it looks like this, certain details, I'm just not it. When you have the Jordan 1, you know, when you have the Jordan 1, you don't wanna go back to a mid, right? That's most of us. So it's hard for me to downgrade. I look at it like a huge downgrade because the quality, the colorways, just what Jordan brand and Nike do to, to the Jordan 1 mid, I think it's just a downgrade. I think if, you know, you buy these, it's just a downgrade compared to when you can get a regular Jordan 1. Something, even if it's sitting on shelves, any other Jordan 1 high OG is, my, in my opinion, blowing the mids out of the water. Most mids are straight up mid. Trash. I just don't like them. Guys, it does have the name Jordan 1 mid in it. Not because it's mid, but it is mid. That's not why they have mid in it, but it is mid. It's a mid shoe. I just don't like them. Not a fan. Quality is not it on Jordan 1 mids. And I got to be honest, this is like my second or third pair of Jordan 1 mids ever. And these have to be the worst I've ever bought. The worst one I've ever bought. I've only bought like the clots and I think maybe the breads and the Chicago colorway with the heel being different for some content. Those are it. Those are like the only three mids. This is my fourth mid now. And these are trash. This is by far the worst Jordan 1 mid I've ever bought. Trash. Can't stand it. Jordan brand Nike, please stop the quality. Please stop tossing this classic iconic colorway. The three colors. Stop tossing it around so much on the Jordan 1 mid. Please. Please stop this. Nobody asks for this. This is nonsense. Please stop doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about Jordan 1 mids down below in the comments. Smash that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Get your giveaway entries in for a free pair of Lost and Founds. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.